So I can probably count, I think, how many Jordan 1s that have come out this year have really, I guess, gave me the appetite to buy some. And it's been a shame because I think the Jordan 1 silhouette has just been given a lot of weird colours, which, you know, we don't like to see. And there's a lot of Jordan 1, you know, um, people out there, you know, obviously myself included, that have been just hungry for like a nice Jordan 1 shoe. They've done Jordan 4s and I love Jordan 4s, you know. However, with this shoe, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Green, I think it's gonna, I think just, just change, change the game for summertime in 2023. And I will show in a couple of seconds as I, you know, screen record this. A bare image, you guys can see there. How clean does that look? That looks clean, that looks beautiful. This is kind of giving me like uh, some, uh, it was giving me like 2019, 2018, like, you know, vibes. Because back then you used to get like banging Jordan 1 highs. You used to get some nice colors. And with this as well, it's a lot better than the pine greens that came out in 2020. In 2020, they had the black and the green ones. Those didn't bang. With these, however, they're kind of giving me like, you know, that like cold purple series, which they dropped as well. And yeah, I, I just literally can't wait to get myself this shoe. Now, I've got a few Jordan 1s. Um, I've not really expanded on that front myself. And I think this is a perfect time for me to like just get in there and just get the shoe. So I'll be getting myself the shoe, fingers crossed. Now, I, you know, the good thing nowadays is resale wise, the pro I beg your pardon, the prices are not really high anymore. With this one, it doesn't make any money, which works in my favor because I can get these shoes for retail as well. So I'm looking forward to buying this shoe as well. So in terms of how I'm going to style this shoe, guys, as you guys can see the colors there, you don't need me to explain. You can see the colors there. So whatever you're going to wear, try and incorporate at least green in it as well. The rest, black and white, will match whatever you're wearing. So for me, I think personally, I'm going to go for a nice vintage tee or, or either like get a nice varsity jacket. I've been looking at uh, getting some varsity jackets out there. So I think I will get a varsity jacket and also get a Boston Celtic vest as well, which I'll wear with some nice shorts as well as this as well. Now, I think when it comes to vest, you've got to be careful because nowadays we don't really go for that very tight look. We're going for that baggy look as well. So if you're into streetwear and you're watching this, make sure you do get the nice baggy style, which can also go with this as well. And also, uh, I think when it comes to when it comes to shorts as well, it's entirely up to you. You can wear some maybe smaller shorts and then get this as well. Or even just play it safe and go for a graphic t-shirt, which is black with bits of green in it as well. You know, even like Marvel should sell some some hog, you know, t-shirts as well. And you can incorporate that with this, with this as well as you know some Boston Celtic shorts as well. I I think I've seen some Boston Celtic shorts as well. Yes, I have. Um, not the bigger ones, but the more kind of snuggy tight ones. I think that will work really well. Which say Boston on the front, that would definitely tie in well with this as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this shoe coming out and doing the unboxing. I've been doing some unboxings as a flake, guys. Make sure you guys go watch them as well. I am trying to mix it up a little bit. And also, guys, if you're based in Newcastle and you would like to take part in what people are wearing in Newcastle video, please comment down below or also follow my socials, which I'll leave also down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless, and I'm out. Have a good night. Good night.